Hello everyone, it is BS Radar time, hashtag BS Radar. Today I've got Heidi Perkis, she is founder of The Gift Club. How are you, Heidi? I'm really well, thanks Russ. How are you doing? Good, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm stoked to have you on. We've tried this a couple of times and we got there, so it's good to have you here. <laughs> um, now, for those that haven't tuned in before, um, you, basically what I do is I tap founders and leaders on the shoulder. And what I want to know is I want to find out their one hot tip when they're sitting at an interview. So whether it's in person or whether it's over a Zoom like this, and I want to find out how they can separate the BS from the real talk. How can they find the real producers? Heidi, what have you got for us today to help slip out the BS? Go. Cool, right. So I think it really depends on your personal understanding of the word bullshit. Yeah. So if I was interviewing candidates for a sales job, I like to ask them a hypothetical question. And that hypothetical question um, is, if your target is, say, 300 grand and you achieved <clears throat> 350, yeah. why didn't you make 500? So I'm looking for their growth potential and their acknowledgement that they could do better and they can hold accountability for themselves and, and that they're real humans and who have true stories to tell us about their success. Yep. Um, I've got plenty of examples of us that have screamed bullshit, BS to me and Let's BS are, <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> bullshit are excuses for failing to be best versions of themselves, I think. So two examples, yep. a candidate that I didn't employ said to me once, actually, I have met my target three times in the past three years but then the leadership changed and they stopped me giving me commission. So I stopped trying so hard. So oh. I asked, why did that stop you trying so hard? And she said, because my nan passed away. So <laughs> neither, neither were related. And clearly one of the two stories was a load of BS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, another, and another said, our product changed and a whopping 200 grand was wiped off my leaderboard last year and given to another team in the business, which was out of my control. Uh, he said it was soul destroying. So I said, my God, yeah, must have been. I, but in my head, I was thinking 200 grand, that's massive. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'll ask him to calculate what his commission uh, that he lost based on that 200 grand. And he asked me if he could come back to me on that. Oh, so, yeah. So that sounds like uh, <laughs> as, if you, as if you wouldn't know that commission, like right in that instant, a salesperson, you're going to know it. You get, it's going to have stuck a seed in your brain as that painful memory. We'll come back to Absolutely. You. And yeah. that's why I like to ask them that, that hypothetical question of yeah. something they haven't achieved yet. Um, yeah. And most people always tell me, yep, yeah, I've achieved it. I've overachieved it. Or yeah. I didn't because some random excuse, random BS. Cool. Cool. I love it. A couple of things that I love, but especially because I've, I've had people talk to me about, okay, tell me about a time when you had a deadline and you missed it, or you had a target, a quota, and you missed it. And that's fine because those stories, People probably have those ready. They've been asked that, yeah. that question a few times. They've got that, okay, well, I know how to turn this into a, you know, into a nice, good story. But if you ask them, okay, tell, them, tell us about a time that you actually made target, but you didn't exceed it by lots. Why, why is that gap there? What's, what's with that chasm? That's got to make yeah. them think, wow, geez, it's making it not good enough. You know, it's got to make them actually have to think of a real situation. Absolutely. And I think pe people find that super hard and you'll only find the very few number of, or not even that, a tiny number of people that can get over that with confidence and, yep. you know, with and deliver it well. And there's not many. So, that's yeah, great. that's my classic example of how I would uh, tackle that, that BS. That's great. Thanks, Heidi. That's an awesome tip. Um, I'm, I'm totally going to steal it and use it myself. Um, so for those who uh, are not following Heidi yet, just jump on. She's, she does great content on LinkedIn. We're doing good things at the Gift Club. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions or feedback about this particular um, BS Radar tactic, just pop them in the, in the comments below. Thanks so much, Heidi, for your time today. Thanks, Jess. Cheers.